Incorporating softness and glow into your springtime landscape can transform an ordinary photograph into a stunning one. Let's use On One Photo Raw to bring a dreamy feel into a springtime capture, and I'll show you just how easy it is. With Photo Raw, dreamy vibes are just a click away. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for all new editing tip and trick videos. Inside of Photo Raw, here I have this springtime landscape. And before we start adding that soft, dreamy, Orton style effect, let's crop and develop. So to crop, I'm just gonna hit C on my keyboard, grab my handy dandy crop tool. I'm going to leave it at the original ratio here, and I'm going to pull in on the corners a bit. And then to frame this and compose it, I'm just going to place this trail here in the middle. And then I'm aligning these two points here with these other trails that follow in. And that's just going to remove that area at the top where we could see the sky. And it's also going to remove any of that excess on the sides and the foreground there. So if we hit enter to apply that crop, you can see we just have a much more um, zoomed in feel. We don't have the distracting sky up top and that foreground is much cleaner there. So now we've cropped it, let's just develop the basic settings. So I'm going to head over to the develop tab and inside of the tone and color pane, I'm actually going to use a camera profile for this image. And the camera profile, camera profile that I'm going to use is on one landscape. We're dealing with a landscape here. This is a great one for adding in a bit of contrast and also boosting up the, the exposure a bit. So I'll just select that. And already we're on our way, you know, it's looking nice. If I hit the backslash key on my keyboard with that one camera profile, it's really done a whole lot to the scene. So now I'm going to head down here and I'm just going to add in a bit of contrast as well. Just to make sure it's not flat looking, I'll just bring in a bit of contrast around 20 or so. And it's looking great. We've developed the basic settings for it. Now we can start stylizing the scene. So let's go into the effects tab. I'm going to add a filter. And to bring on that dreamy Orton style look, I'm going to go to the glow filter. And in the si inside of the glow filter, we're going to use this more menu. And already inside of the glow filter, there's two presets with the Orton style there. The first Orton style here is this Orton clean, and it's a bit brighter than the bottom one, which is Orton here's a who. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add on both. So I'm just going to use this one here and I'll rename this sort of that soft glow look. And I'll just increase that all the way. And then I'm going to add the glow filter again and I'll rename this one drama. We're going to be using this one to modify how much drama we want on the scene. So I'll just go to that more menu again and I'll go to Orton Hears a Who. Now, it darkens things up quite a bit, and it's a bit intense. Now, if you're looking for that more moody, dramatic feel, this is probably the preset that you want to go for. But because we wanted a bit more playful and a bit more illuminated, let's just pull back on this opacity slider, maybe about 50% or so. And that just brings things down a bit, it you know makes them a bit less bright. And if you're going for more of that bright, playful look, you probably don't want this you know more dramatic Orton here's a who. You probably want this Orton clean. But I think this dramatic feel really plays well into this scene because it's a lot more textures and colors. I'll just head back up to that opacity slider and pull that back down to around 50. And now, we've created that really soft, dreamy look on the scene. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard. I really love that blurry glow and it's really working well with all of the textures in the photograph. So now that we've created that dreamy vibe, let's just top the image off with a color enhancer filter and maybe a vignette to ensure that we're really just honed in on the light and the color. So I'll add those filters. I'll add the color enhancer filter first, color enhancer filter. And because we're dealing with a lot of yellows, I'm just going to use this fall preset. Now, I know it's a spring image, but we're just going to use fall here. 
And you can see that really goes into those warm colors and it makes them pop and it makes them a bit more illuminated. I really like that fall preset. Now let's add our last filter. Let's add the vignette filter. Now the reason that I wanna add the vignette filter is because I want to make these shadows in here a bit more dramatic. And I also want to focus the viewer's attention on the lights and the color in the center. So let's use Big Softy and let's pull that back quite a bit to around 30 or so. And then I'm going to use this positioning tool to position it down a bit lower. And it's subtle, but it's just helping remove the light in these corners as a distraction. So now let's hit the backslash key in our keyboard. Original, and with that nice, dreamy Orton look. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.